stinker here decided she was gonna take a whiz on my bed. Set my heart on fire. everybody welcome back to the life of Gina Bear so I'm letting you guys into my life here in South Korea and right now I am at the AHC spa as you guys can see and this is like one of the best spas in Gangnam I know you guys always ask me all the time like where do I go for a skin treatment I highly 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 recommend the AHC spa I love their products I constantly use them a lot of you guys ask me like yo Gina how do you keep your skin so nice and so neat and so pretty this is how I've been using the white collar Collagen, and I'll put a picture of it here and I will also leave links in the description box below if you guys would like to purchase those products for yourself I've personally tried them and tested them. I love them now today I'm getting the Sika treatment because I know I'm not the only one in the world that has this problem right now But we're all suffering from mask knee and I'm calling it mask acne So mask knee I have had literally the worst acne of my life because we're breathing all of our dirty germs from our body onto our skin And then it's rubbing with the mask and it is just no bueno for anybody and the AHC spa reached out to me and they're like, let us do a secret treatment for you. And I know it's going to work because AHC products have always worked really well with my skin. So I'm going to give you guys a little mini tour of this room here. In here, they have this really cool steam cleaner. <laughs> I have my little jean jacket in here. The room is equipped to give you your own personal bath if you want it. Even your own personal shower and bathroom. And because of coronation to stay safe, we have alcohol swabs, so I need to clean my hands with this. And is this not the sweetest thing ever? I have peppermint tea. <sighs> it's so soothing and relaxing, which is exactly what my poor sad skin needs right now. And then here's some more awesome AHC products. And then they prepared this wonderful, cute bag for me. So today we are using all of these AHC products. I love them, seriously. I have this Ageless Eye and Face Cream and it is literally a lifesaver. If you guys are wondering how I stay so young, this is it, like, wow. What it has done for my skin, girl, you need this in your life. I've changed into the cute little bathrobe here. It's my big donk donk. The treatment takes about an hour and you also get a massage at the end, which is awesome. And throughout the treatment, they put light therapy on my face, they clean my face, they put a bunch of products on my face to soothe and ease the redness, irritation, and the germs on my face. Yeah, I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side comparison of what my skin was like before and now what my skin is like after. As you can see, a lot of the redness has gone. Of course, I have hyperpigmentation because that's just how my skin is. I'm being completely honest with you guys. I don't have the best skin. I edit a lot of like my photos and my videos so that like my skin looks more smooth, but also I wanted to take a moment to show you guys the goodies that I got in the bag. Here we have the AHC line. This is a watery essence. The aid cream, which could also be used for first aid. And then we have the serum. And then we have the gauze mask sheet and the premium Sika complex mask. As you guys know, I am an avid fan of the AHC products, so I have to change up my skincare routine, you know, with the summertime and also with the mask problems. So these three products, they are made with only Korean herbs. So I'm really excited to try these and like I said, hopefully a lot of the redness and a lot of the irritation that I've been having because of wearing masks and all that dirty stuff getting on my face, this is supposed to help that, so I'm really excited to use that. I will probably be using this starting tomorrow morning, so I will show you guys what's up. Happy Friday, everybody. I know I look like a complete and total mess right now, but I mean, who dresses up to go to school? Besides, I haven't had any classes since like Tuesday because right now the second graders are only in school today and I only see them once a week. So most of my other classes have been online and I've been checking my students' progress that way through an online portal. I'm not wearing my mask right now because I'm telling you right now, I am the queen of social distancing. I'm here up on the fourth floor 
There are no classrooms that are active on this floor at all. But according to the coronation standards of safety and health, I have to have the windows open. So right now I'm actually going to go and open the windows in my other classroom. I take care of two English classrooms. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my sad but empty English classroom because none of my students can come because due to coronation, they have to stay in their own classrooms and social distance. So I just finished checking all of my students attendance for the day. They all did their homework. Since I'm done right now, I'm just working on a blog post. I'm coming out with the four day Busan itinerary because I myself will be traveling to Busan. I will link that down in the description box below. And then after that, I'm probably also going to continue working on my book, which is also another really exciting project that I've undertaken. And like I said, I hope by the end of this year, I will be able to publish the book. Good morning, everybody. I've been on Instagram for the last hour, and I've also been cuddling honey like this. It's like literally one of my favorite ways to start my mornings. I just have no idea. She's so fluffy and warm and cute, and it's really comforting. So we're probably going to go for a walk. Thank you all for joining me on this morning walk here in the hood. It rained last night, so as you can see, the skies are really blue and the air is really clean. So I'm really grateful for that, which is why I'm spending as much time as I can outside today. And also one of the reasons why I started doing vlogs again was because I really want to hold myself accountable. I don't know about you guys, but coronation made me gain a lot of weight, basically because all the gyms were closed and the air pollution was still really bad around that time. And I had like zero motivation to do anything. Basically, I spent all of my coronation getting smashed off of red wine and watching Outlander. I don't know if y'all have been do were doing something similar, but it's not good for your health. And a lot of those really bad habits have now carried over and I am the heaviest I've been in years. Like the last time I was this heavy, I was with one of my crappy ex-boyfriends and I don't want to be like in this space. Of course, I'm confident and I'm happy with my body. And of course, I love my body no matter what size it is, but I would like to be healthier, which is something that I haven't been doing. Also, real talk, I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue posting on YouTube due to the fact that the YouTube algorithm has been like really messing with me and like I'm not trying to downplay my success or anything, but the reason why I have so many subscribers is because one of my videos went completely viral. Honestly, I think that's one of the stupidest videos I've ever made in my life. It's not something that I'm really proud of. Like I don't really care much for it, but you guys seem to like it. So honestly, I prefer to like step away from that kind of content and make content that focuses on travel, life abroad. So since my dog is spoiled, this is some chicken broth and I'm gonna put it in her kibble. Look at that happy goober face. You ready for breakfast? Mm -hmm. So now I just pour the chicken broth over her food. And I let it sit for a few minutes because it's hot. Yes, you gotta wait. It's too hot for you to eat. Honey, come get breakfast. The goals for today are to one, put the memory foam back on my bed. This little stinker here decided she was gonna take a whiz on my bed, so I had to wash everything and I had to clean that and then I put it outside on the veranda. I have a sponsored post from insert name here, hair, and I really like them. They're pretty much just like attachable ponies, so it's like bam, instantly put together, you know? So I'm doing a blog post for them, so I have to do the hairstyles for that. I also want to get some laundry done and then I have to get ready to go to my friend Logan's birthday party. I'm so excited. Logan and I have been friends like since 2012. So the whole time like I've been an expat, we've known each other. We met in Okinawa and then we just so happened to end up here in South Korea as well. So let's stop diddle daddling and let's get going. Honey Bear says let's be productive and pet me. Yeah, he's so cute and fluffy. You're lucky, you're cute.
thank you so 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 much for tuning into the video today if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos please subscribe to my youtube channel let me know if you guys would get the secret treatment down below i will actually link it in the description box so you can just easily book it yourself when you guys are here in seoul or if you're visiting or if you want to book it for somebody you love you know caring is sharing and i will talk to you lovelies later gina bear signing out I'm waiting and always hesitating Crypto